Hi there, it's Pride Daily for Friday. We'll start with the latest in our series, Bigotry, Hiding Behind Religion. A Catholic all-girls school in Sydney's banning students bringing same-sex dates to prom. Pupils at St Ursula's College say they weren't told about the rule until after they bought their non-refundable tickets. Lots of pushback, with the top politician for New South Wales saying in this day and age, you should be able to take who you like to prom. Also support on 2GB Radio in Sydney from presenter Chris O'Keefe. If there are Year 12 students, young women, in the middle of their HSC exams, getting phone calls from teachers saying, you are not allowed to bring a girl, that is a disgrace and it should be overturned immediately. I don't care what the reasoning is, they need their head read. It's 2023. A petition protesting against the decision got nearly 5,000 signatures. St Ursula's College isn't commenting because they can't defend the indefensible. A ban on gay sex in the military has been upheld in South Korea. The country's constitutional court says same-sex relationships could affect troops' readiness for combat and undermine discipline. It's the fourth time since 2002 the sodomy law has been upheld. Anyone breaking it could get up to two years in prison. LGBTQ plus activists say the ban encourages violence and discrimination and they'll keep fighting. And the final of Mr Gay Worlds taking place today in South Africa. Among the countries being represented, you've got Australia, Belgium, India and Great Britain. I'm finding Spain's entrant Javier quite agreeable. Look him up. It's happening in Cape Town, co-hosted by drag act Adam the Glamour Clown. Then tomorrow, there's the first ever Mr. Gay World Pride event. I'm Kevin McGrath. See you Monday.